As a concealed carrier and overall gun nut, or aficionado if you're a firearm hipster, one can never really have too many holsters. After carrying for a time, you start to pile up on holsters like women pile up on bras. When it comes to Kydex holsters, there's a group of leaders at the top of the mountain. And of those leaders, one of them is Bravo Concealment. Anyone who follows my channel knows I'm big on aesthetics. Maybe more than necessary, but I think fit and finish and aesthetics amplify the user experience and give a sense of satisfaction after putting your hard earned money down to pay for something. Imagine going to a strip club for a lap dance and having to choose between Julia Roberts and Angelina Jolie. Sure, they'll both do, but it's probably safe to say your user experience will be more satisfying with Angelina Jolie. I have to say, the fit and finish on these Bravo Concealment holsters are top notch. They got these holsters out to me pretty quick actually, and there's nothing really about them that seems rushed. The edges are smooth where they're supposed to be, and all the rivets are in unison and very low profile. Because on some holsters, the rivets can be a little bit gaudy and kind of just a bit intrusive, but that isn't the case with these holsters. You can get these holsters in two different thicknesses, 0.06 and 0.08. For concealed carry, I typically run a 0.06, and for outside the waistband, I run a 0.08. A 0.06 gives a little bit more than a 0.08, but they both do the job just fine. When it comes to retention, Bravo Concealment hit the sweet spot. Well, at least for me. The sweet spot is somewhere between it was definitely her first time and where's my money. I decided to go with a high sweat guard on the end of the waistband and a low sweat guard for outside the waistband. Again, all customizable to your liking through Bravo. Uh, I figured the high sweat guard would be perfect for inside the waistband so I don't have to deal with the slide rubbing up against my side. I started off having a love-hate relationship with these J-hooks. I'm used to clips, but I'm starting to really like these J-hooks. It's a little difficult to get the holster on, well at least compared to the clips. But once they're on, they're on, and I'm really starting to take a liking to them. The loops on the outside of the waistband holster are really thick, but not intrusive. And they do what they need to do. I feel like I can hang weights off this thing and nothing will happen. When it comes to wearing the holster, there's one thing I love. How close these holsters sit to your body. It's crazy. It's almost sexual. I love it. Now, I will say that you need to make sure that you get the right size belt and the right size uh, J hooks for the particular belt you run. But either way, the holster conceals like crazy, especially when you add a 10 degree cant to it like I have on mine. Running, and running, jumping, flying, leaping and bounding, all those things. Gun stays put, stays concealed, no issues. Even when you're cooking. All in all, I have to say that I really do love these Bravo concealment holsters. And I can't wait to run them in the next planning course that I plan on taking. They just do what I need them to do. And you can't really argue with that. Now, the wait time on these things are actually pretty reasonable considering they're made by hand. And the prices on these things are also reasonable as well considering some of the high-ass prices that are out there now. So the next time you're in the market for a Kydex holster, whether outside the waistband or inside the waistband, and you look up at the top of the hill, play close attention to Bravo Concealment. Rest assured, I guarantee you will not be disappointed.